Technology varies time to time. Astonishing vistas of the cosmos have been provided by the Hubble Space Telescope. The time of Hubble has not yet ended because the venerable Hubble remains an astronomical workhorse, making crucial studies of the cosmos while Webb enjoys the limelight. Hubble is actually at its peak scientific performance now, Wiseman said. That's thanks to a team of NASA technical experts on the ground who monitor and quickly address any technical challenges that arise, she added. The number of proposals from scientists around the world who want to use Hubble has risen to over 1,000 per year, with only the top fraction of these selected for actual observations, Wiseman said, adding, many of these complement proposed web observations. As we have listened, many hands make light work. The telescopes are more powerful together than they are apart though. Astronomers will have a more thorough grasp of galaxies, stars and planets thanks to the combination of space-based telescopes. Hubble's science return is expected to be strong and even enhanced throughout this decade as Webb and Hubble unveil the universe together. Hubble, for example, can detect and analyse in detail the hot blue and UV light blazing from star-forming nebulae in nearby galaxies, Wiseman said, adding, that can be compared to the vigour of star formation in the early universe as detected with Webb. We'll be talking more about these stunning images of Jupiter, so make sure you stay with us. Now let's dive deep into the video. Last week, the James Webb Space Telescope of NASA provided us with the most detailed views of the cosmos ever. The JWST has transmitted fresh photographs that were acquired in our solar system displaying very detailed views of the largest planet in our solar system, Jupiter, and its moons. The out-of-this-world sights from the JWST cameras were breathtaking, to put it mildly. The Webb Space Telescope is good news for astronomy and good news for the Hubble Space Telescope as well, since Webb and Hubble enhance and complement each other's unique capabilities, Jennifer Wiseman, senior project scientist for the Hubble Space Telescope at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, told Insider. Images from the early instrument testing for the space missions were publicly disclosed by NASA. The photographs revealed that JWST can pick up more tiny details and show space in fine clarity even when highly brilliant objects are near to the planet. The images include images of Jupiter and images and spectra of several asteroids which were captured to test the telescope's instruments before science operations officially began. Webb is 100 times more powerful than Hubble. It will be able to peer at objects whose light was emitted more than 13.5 billion years ago, which Hubble can't see. This is because this light has been shifted into the infrared wavelengths that Webb is specifically designed to detect. But because Webb has been designed this way, it will also miss celestial objects in the visible and ultraviolet light that Hubble can see. In fact, Hubble is the only major class observatory that can access UV wavelengths, Wiseman said. Fans of Jupiter will recognise some familiar features of our solar system's enormous planet in these images seen through Webb's infrared gaze. Moreover, here's a view of the NIR cam instrument short wavelength filter shows distinct bands that encircle the planet as well as the great red spot, a storm big enough to swallow the Earth. The iconic spot appears white in this image because of the way Webb's infrared image was processed. Combined with the deep field images released the other day, these images of Jupiter demonstrate the full grasp of what Webb can observe from the faintest, most distant observable galaxies to planets in our own cosmic backyard that you can see with the naked eye from your actual backyard, said Brian Haller, a scientist at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore who helped plan these observations. Webb, which launched on December 25th, 2021, was designed to peer deep into the universe's past, studying the first stars and galaxies ever to form. But the Infrared Observatory is a highly capable multi-purpose tool, and astronomers will use it to investigate a variety of cosmic objects and phenomena, including some in our own solar system as the Jupiter picture shows. With its 21-foot wide mirror, the Webb telescope can pick out fine details of Jupiter and its large moons. The telescope's instruments gather light at infrared wavelengths rather than visible light, which provides a different view than what the more than 30-year-old Hubble Space Telescope has provided. Clearly visible at the left is Europa, a moon with a probable ocean below its thick icy crust and the target of NASA's forthcoming Europa Clipper mission. What's more, Europa's shadow can be seen to the left of the Great Red Spot, 
Other visible moons in these images include Thebe and Metis. I couldn't believe that we saw everything so clearly and how bright they are, said Stephanie Millam, Webb's deputy project scientist for planetary science based at NASA's Goddard Science Flight Center in Greenbelt, Maryland. It's really exciting to think of the capability and opportunity that we have for observing these kind of objects in our solar system. Make sure you stay with us right till the end because we'll be discussing some more interesting discoveries by NASA's Juno spacecraft later in this video. Scientists were especially eager to see these images because they are proof that Webb can observe the satellites and rings near bright solar system objects such as Jupiter and Saturn. Scientists will use Webb to explore the tantalizing question of whether we can see plumes of material spewing out of moons like Europa and Saturn's moon Enceladus. Webb may be able to see the signatures of plumes depositing material on the surface of Europa. I think that's just one of the coolest things that we'll be able to do with this telescope in the solar system, Millam said. What's crazier is that James Webb captured this while moving across its field of view in three different observations. This basically means that the telescope is powerful enough to look for stars while being in the presence of a celestial body as bright as Jupiter. Additionally, Webb easily captured some of Jupiter's rings, which especially stand out in the NIR cam long wavelength filter image. That the ring showed up in one of Webb's first solar system images is absolutely astonishing and amazing. The Jupiter images in the narrowband filters were designed to provide nice images of the entire disk of the planet. But the wealth of additional information about the very faint objects in those images with approximately one minute exposures was absolutely a very pleasant surprise. Webb also obtained these images of Jupiter and Europa moving across the telescope's field of view in three separate observations. This test demonstrated the ability of the observatory to find and track guide stars in the vicinity of bright Jupiter. But just how fast can an object move and still be tracked by Webb? This was an important question for scientists who study asteroids and comets. During commissioning, Webb used an asteroid called 6481 Tensing, located in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, to start the moving target tracking speed limit tests. Webb was designed with the requirement to track objects that move as fast as Mars, which has a maximum speed of 30 milliarc seconds per second. During commissioning, the Webb team conducted observations of various asteroids which all appeared as a dot because they were all small. The team proved that Webb will still get valuable data with all of the science instruments for objects moving up to 67 milliarc seconds per second, which is more than twice the expected baseline, similar to photographing a turtle crawling when you're standing a mile away. Jupiter is a whirling world in stunning footage from Juno spacecraft. Hang on tight as you watch this new footage of Jupiter. This sped up view shows the perspective of NASA's Juno spacecraft as it flew just 2,050 miles above the gas giant's clouds on April 9th, 2022. This was Juno's 41st flyby above the radiation spewing planet during which the spacecraft soared at a top speed of 131,000 miles per hour relative to Jupiter. That's more than seven times faster than the speed of the International Space Station orbiting Earth at about five times faster than the crew Apollo missions were traveling as they left Earth for the moon. The colorful images were created from the Juno Cam Instruments raw images, which officials upload to an image processing gallery that allows citizen scientists to add their insights to the raw data, while Juno's initial main target has been Jupiter. Also, the Great Red Spot, which is a persistent region of high pressure that generates the greatest anticyclonic storms in the solar system, is another distinctive characteristic of Jupiter. This mark may be seen in Clerk's 1879 photograph, but because of the image's upside down orientation, it seems to be in the northern rather than the southern hemisphere. In January 2021, NASA authorized an extension of the mission's mandate to focus a little more closely on the planet's four large moons, especially Ganymede, Europa, and Io. Juno will run until September 2025, assuming it remains in good health. Radiation will likely be the mission's main threat as it attempts to continue its work for the next three years, but as long as Juno is active, it will serve as a scout for future missions at Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. And with that, we've reached the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed watching the video and knowing about the spectacular image of Jupiter being released by NASA's JWST. 
For more interesting videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and also press that notification bell. See you in the next one.